Right, Welcome to Jamaica, guys. Nice to have you here. Okay, we're out here in Ocho Reyes. So we're out here on um, Ocho Reyes um, Bay Beach and show you a little bit of Jamaican culture, all right? So let's enjoy, all right? Have fun. Greetings, fellow travelers and cruisers. It's T5, the traveler here with Becky the Trekkie for time for another location tour, uh, port of call. This time we're in beautiful Ocho Rios, Jamaica. We got a beautiful day for it. Sun shining overhead. We're about 78 degrees, so it's really just about perfect. Uh, be on the lookout for more port tours. We're gonna do several on this trip and we'll bring you along and show you everything there is to see here in the port in Jamaica. So when you come right in, they've got some uh, uh, people working out here working for photos. You can take a photo with the parrot uh, or out here with the flag, anything like that. They've got some bars right over here. They got a little bit of music playing. If you're looking for that red striped Jamaican beer, you can get it right here. If you haven't got your uh, excursions book, they have people right here ready to go. They'll help you out with their excursions anytime. He didn't want to be on video, but that's a-okay. Uh, they've got a gift shop right out of the gate. They've got some Bob Marley items. It's called the Ocean's 11 gift shop and t-shirts. We'll probably uh, pop in there in a little bit. We might get us a t-shirt before we uh, head out of the port. But really, there's a lot to see and do. So you do have several people kind of off to the sides, almost like in the shadows or something. And they'll like pop up and then see if they want to help you out with some uh, excursions. We've got people ask if they want to get their hair braided and uh, that sort of thing. We're doing the vlog. We'll be back through the area here in just a little bit. So you get a little bit of that uh, when you come to the port. So be uh, prepared for that. But as long as you're polite, you just say, no, thank you. We're working on something else right now. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. But they, there is... Uh, I think they had some weather here in the last few days uh, that was a little bit rough, so they got a good day for it. So they're out probably trying to uh, make up some of that extra income uh, for the families, which is totally understandable. I totally get that. So once you get inside of here, this is the Island Village and you can eat. They've got Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville over here to the right. They have the, we're from Illinois. Right outside of Chicago. It's the first time here? It is. I'll show you how we do that handshake here. Okay. Peace. Yeah. Respect. I would say Yaman. Yaman. I show the lady too. Peace, love, respect, and Yaman. Love, respect, I would say Yaman. Yaman. This is our first time here in Jamaica. It is. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Junior. That's oh you. no, no gifts. Thank you. We're All just right. doing the uh, we're doing the tour, but I'll I'll have my viewers come see you when they get off the port. Okay. All right. You'll you'll be on the tube. So over here they've got arts and crafts if you're looking for like hand uh, hand carved wood items they've got them if you're looking for some t-shirts or stuff for the kids it's mostly Jamaica colors it looks like uh, you got your red green gold and all of that stuff they, they got Heineken's red stripe right there if you need them they've got several uh, vendors out here uh, hand carved uh, woodwork so if you're looking for turtles elephants any type of alligators things like that they've got them necklaces galore uh, out here ready to cut a cut a good deal with you and uh you can just come on through they've got uh the uh cover-ups for the swimsuits uh right there and it looks like little little jamaica jumpsuit i think they're looking for something that says ocho rios on it so we're gonna try to do that and uh, you can see up here the mountains are in the background hey, Mr. G. up over to the right and they have uh jamaican bobsledding is way up at the tops you'll need to take like a cab or something to get up there and then you can uh it's really it's like on a metal track and then it takes you down the mountain so you can do that as an excursion as well Okay, so that brings you through the vendor area and that's gonna be just out of that first port. You just come straight down through there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna wheel back around to the right. Our ship is actually the one off to the right. So we started at the end of the port tour. We're just gonna take this loop right back up towards the ship and we'll show you all the shopping and food in the area. Okay. So this is the other corner of the island village. You can get uh, coconut drinks right over here that says lots of rum, as much rum as you want. So they will they'll hook you right up there with the coconut if you want to do that. They've got some nice music and some nice theming. And we'll walk around so you can see a little bit more of the village over here. All right. Okay, so we're just down over here at Island Village. We just crossed this one street over here because we wanted to show you where Diamonds International is. So if you're looking for your Diamonds International location, 
uh, from your cruise ship if you got like a 50% off deal or a, looking for Tanzanite or any of those things. So that's the main secondary cruise port. You'll see the Carnival ship right over there, the MSCs ones to the left. You can just take this main sidewalk, you just cross over here to the street and then Diamonds International is just right in here inside these doors. And then they've got uh, Cuban cigars available over here. Uh, to the right if you're looking for that if you're from the states can't have that sort of thing uh, They do have them here. Uh, they've got the Rolex the uh, Echo Drive Diamond place is all over here to the right uh, The Gym Palace it says it's tax-free uh, It's available right there They've got guaranteed jewelers and then Piranha Joe's official Jamaican store And I think we'll go ahead and we'll just push on in uh, to Piranha Joe's it looks really crowded But we'll see if we can just uh, get a quick peek and see what the store looks like. Okay, so they're gonna have a little bit of music, but we'll just do real quick. Uh, they've got lots of t-shirts, Piranha Joe t-shirts. I'm seeing colorful uh, reggae style t-shirts. They've got some little bears here if you're looking for a plushie. Uh, Jamaican boomerangs, they've got whistles. They have some other hand car things. If you're looking for one of these tropical hats, they've got them up here. Let's just do a quick check. See what we got on them. Uh, I think they're 20 bucks. Uh, $19.99 on those. They've got some nice t-shirt uh, selections. So I think we're going to poke around. Maybe we'll try to get us a shirt or something and uh, we'll see you for the rest of the tour. Okay, so we came back down across that street and now we're back down in the village just over here. You just kind of look for the blue building. So they've got uh, Casa del Oro. That's going to be a duty-free uh, shop tax-free shopping and then you can get uh, jewelry and things like that in there we've got the uh, margaritaville ladies nights uh poster up top here and you got margaritaville over here to the left and that's going to have the margaritaville trading post we'll run you in there real quick and show you uh what margaritaville looks like let's take a look all right so this is margaritaville here at ocho rios jamaica they got a nice crowd out here you're just right down here on the beach uh they got a little few shower stations over here if you want to get in the water the surf looks super high right now maybe six seven eight foot waves uh better be a really good swimmer they've got two floors up here uh nice menu nice seating area and they got a little dance floor i'm sure it gets a little more lively at night we're just in the middle of the day but uh bar central bar service and they've got a pool uh just on the other side of the bar over here all right we'll carry on Attached is going to be the Margaritaville uh, store over here. You can get some uh, Jamaica gear if you're looking for a swimsuit, uh, pirate's gear, Jamaica sweatshirts, hats, uh, clothing options, things like that. Uh, they've got them here if you're looking for some bags, flip-flops. They've got several staff uh, members ready to serve. And uh, it's not overly cool in here, but it's not too bad. They got the air on, and uh, it's a nice little respite uh, from the sun. We got a beautiful day today. Back out of Margaritaville, and uh, the shopping kind of continues through this area. Over here, they've got uh, everything Jamaica. We're having a little bit of trouble finding something that just says Ocho Rios. We've seen a few t-shirts that say Ocho Rios and Kingston and some of the other uh, big cities in Jamaica. They've got lots of Bob Marley themed okay so we found those ultra real shirts this is the seaside store right here this is the owner. this is kiva she helped us out we got two for forty dollars so if you want looking for a good deal and you want those ultra real shirts it's right here just in the center here see this nice lady and she'll hook you up Hi, welcome to Jamaica. All right. We'll, we'll see you on the channel and thank you so much for your help. We were looking for those all day. I appreciate it. So have a great day. All right. Okay, carrying on. If you come down that left side from Margaritaville, there's more shopping down this location. If you're looking for some of those uh, all white clothes, if you've got the all white uh, clothing party uh, on the ship and you forgot to bring them, you can get some of those types of outfits right there. It looks like they've got men's and women's casual. It's kind of like the open air breezy stuff. All good. They've got some t shirts over here. Uh, looks like it's themed. We've got uh, hangers over here. You can get some of those shell hangers, uh, different wind chimes, things like that. You get your soccer ball if you're into that or a uh, football depending on which country you're from whatever you call those and uh, just a lot of nice shopping really you can you can really smell the sea air here's over here is uh, Bijou uh, jewelers you can get uh, necklaces watches things like that higher end items over there and then this is assembly point it kind of gives you the point of directions where different things are the splash part the shake shack the um, coffee experience the Appleton run and then here's the seas these people are in the in the water over here 
here they're pretty brave i'd say you got like five six foot uh, waves right there and uh the cruise ships are just right out to the side our next stop is going to be over here to oceans 11 and we'll get in there and we see if we can uh, get us a shirt starbucks coffee is right there if you're looking for starbucks a little taste of home you can get it right over here down in the junction gift shop looks like they're advertising three t-shirts for 18 dollars They've got hats right over here to the right as soon as you get in. They've got a few sunglass selections and let's just see if what they've got on the shirts up here. Okay, so these are running $17. This is a large, uh, I'd say they're probably in the $17, $18 range. Uh, one for seven, three for, oh, three for 18. So they are running a special over here. Uh, Bob Marley stuff's a little bit more pricey. They've got $28 on tank tops. Uh, small through large is going to be $32. So that seems to be one of their more uh, popular themed items that they've got is Bob Marley. Uh, they've got some nice, there's, there's a few t-shirts here. We may uh, poke around and see what we can do. Uh, one for $7, three for $18. So, okay, in this store right here. Got some wood carved items and the ACs on it here. So. If you're looking for any themed uh, knickknacks and things like that. Okay, continuing up the boardwalk from where we were just at past the gentleman on the stilts. They've got ice cream, ice cream over here. Uh, yes, we're open. It says bottled water. They've got it in there for a dollar. Looks like they're behind the counter. Absolutely. And it's got Devon House uh, ice cream in that one. Up next is going to be Jabba's Seafood and Tapas ice and they've got the website uh, there if you're looking for them. Everywhere's got cold beer. They've got uh, made to order. It looks like three, four dollar range on some of the items. The fish may be 30 bucks uh, for the full dinner there. Uh, they've got a cigar lounge right up here. You can get you, like we said earlier, a Cuban cigar or uh, Colombian or Dominican cigars, any, any of the Caribbean islands. Uh, they've got them right there. And uh, it's right there on the corner across the way over here. They've got a beautiful uh, pavilion. So if you're looking to get uh, out of the out of the sun a little bit and you want to take some photos of the of the area, you can do them right down there. They've got the uh, Java Group over here to the right, and then the Rib Cage Grill. So if you're looking for some Jamaican uh, barbecue, you can get it right there on the corner. They got a little bit of outdoor seating, and then over here is the Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee. So if you want that uh, signature Jamaican coffee, you can get it right here at the end of the area. Uh, I think it's called uh, Jablum is what is what the brand is. So that's right down there. We'll push down in this area. We'll show you what some of the uh, street vendors are peddling, and we'll see uh, what we can find. Okay, stick with us. Okay, carrying on down the steps over here is that rib cage grill uh, right up there where you can get the Jamaican barbecue. And then you get down into a little bit more of a shaded area down here. You can get those coconut drinks all over the place. They've got some uh, available pop-ups all over. Now they will put as much alcohol in it as you want. So if you don't want it super strong, just tell them that. They won't have to put like 10 shots in that thing. And uh, that could get you in a little bit of a little bit of a... Uh, uh, a dizzy spell real quick if you if you have too much too fast but anyway uh carrying on they've got the uh the lounge down here and let's go over to the left i want to show you this beautiful water area that they've got uh it's just passed up here they've got some nice signage this is that outdoor seating area uh for the restaurant and then you've got another good uh photo opportunity spot just right up ahead here and off to the left you'll see they've got a little uh, little waterway with like the little backdrop you've got some of that uh, uh, vine behind you the sun's peeking through and it's really kind of a, a tranquil area but you do have the Jamaican music right over here at the restaurant just behind okay they got the coconuts up on the trees so I, I don't think they're lacking for coconuts in, in on the Okay, making the loop. We got the reggae kitchen and lounge. That's shop number three. You can get seafood. It looks like they've got lobster. They've got fresh fish. They've got shrimp in there. They've got crab. And uh, you can get it right there. Fresh, fresh fish uh, is available. Okay, uh, carrying on. We've got some cover-ups over here to the right. Looks like they'll cut you, cut you a deal over here if you need it. A uh, little bit of options. And then they've just got a few stores over to the right so if you're looking for restrooms if you're out and about how to had a few cold ones or something like that get the cold one right there they have the restrooms uh right here they don't look too bad not terribly bad but uh 
All right, okay. Up next, this one's like a little lottery spot. If you're looking for a lottery ticket, Red Bull, anything like that, you can get it. And then they've got that Bob Marley uh, music is playing. Lobster Dave's restaurant is up here to the top. That's the seafood restaurant, and it kind of overlooks the water. So if you're looking for a, like a lobster dinner here uh, in Ocho Rios, you can get it. They've got nice outdoor seating here, or you can sit up top uh, right over there. The vendors just kind of carry on down here, shop after shop, mostly like beers, food, and shopping. And it just kind of repeats like that over and over. So don't feel like you got to go to the very first spot. There are several spots uh, to choose from. And we're going to make our way up here through the rest of the park. And we'll show you what's on the other side over here towards us. Okay, so we're at the second port location. It's right over here. We'll show you these little uh, vendors that we've got on the way way back up, but we want to show you the layout here. So if you're at, you're docked at this port station and it's off on this side of the port, the other one's over here, so they're not connected together. So what you want to do is you'll come down here, you want to take this left, walk down this path here, and then up and then just stick to the sidewalk and that'll take you around to the left and that'll get you over to Ocean's Eleven over there, Margaritaville's over there, and all of your other uh, photo op locations and things like that. If you're looking for excursions or you want to go into the city or anything, you want to just take those cabs as soon as you get off of the ship. You can just jump in there. And I said it, it looked like $10 for one person. Groups up to four were like $40, something like that. So plan for that accordingly. Maybe they'll cut you a deal and do two for 20. I'm not sure, depending on uh, where you're trying to go and probably how far it is. But uh, you're right down here by the sea. And uh, really, we had a, gr a great day for it. We'll pop up here. We'll uh, see what these uh, few vendors are and then we'll uh, let you know what we think of the port. Okay, the last few vendors just heading back up to the ship. They've got some Red Stripe ice cold beer right over here to the left if you want to get it. They do have some Jamaican themed clothing off to the right. You can get uh, little knickknacks and things like that. They've got some hand uh, carved and hand painted uh, local artwork right there. If you're looking for a bear, they have all things Bob Marley and Jamaica colors all around. So green, red, gold, that sort of thing, anything you want. If you're looking for bracelets, they've got them just right, right out here off uh, just outside of the ship. Uh, you can get some water bottles there they have t-shirts they've got tank tops they've got sweatshirts they have bob marley anything and everything you're looking for in uh, bob marley you can get it uh from shirts to hats to to gear to wall hangers all of that good stuff they've got them if you're into collecting dolls they've got a few doll selections right here uh you can get the kids clothes up in the back that looks like they've got the soccer uniforms beads necklaces bracelets that sort of thing any of those knickknacks and then that brings you full circle uh right back down to the port so i gotta say if you're looking for something uh immediately in the area you can walk it uh if you're in this particular dock you just want to come down walk down this sidewalk and then loop back over in there towards the middle uh we had a beautiful weather today and if you're doing excursions they'll pick you up in this area just outside of the ship it's just right there most of the vehicles are gone if you want to do the jamaican bobsled team bobsledding it's on rails it'll take you up to the top of that mountain complex right up there and then you can kind of like ride the rails down the mountain for the jamaican bobsledding they do have swimming with the dolphins here and they have a lot of excursions there are on all-inclusive resorts here on the island so though this is one of the most popular uh tourist areas in the world so it's a, it's worth a go uh this would be a good one to come and stay on the resort and then you can kind of do those activities at your leisure uh when you're on the ship sometimes you only have four hours or five hours so if you're doing a four or five hour excursion you want to make sure uh that you get your excursion times so if you book your excursion on the ship there's no worries. You don't have to worry about the ship leaving you. If you come out here and you want to try to save a few bucks, you book an excursion with some of the locals and you're way out and about and for whatever reason the car breaks down, the boat breaks down, you're stuck at the top of the mountain and you can't get back to the ship on time and there's only a couple of you, there's a good chance that the ship will leave without you and you have to get on the plane to the next port and try to catch back up with the ship. Um, all that, all in all being said, there's some really fun little spots. If you want to do the Margaritaville, the people are having a great time down there, having drinks, dancing, music, all that good stuff. T-shirts, we found a couple. Don't be afraid to haggle with prices uh, in this particular port. And we got a beautiful weather, beautiful day for it. So thank you for joining us uh, on the channel. We had a we had a great time walking around here. If you didn't get the drink package on the ship or something, you want to have a few drinks, they definitely got a lot of options uh, here as well. And uh, it's really just a, a beautiful place and uh, friendly people. Just don't be a, 
don't be uh, thrown off by people like wanting to give you free things we don't take anything free from anybody like that and uh, you don't know what's on what's in it or anything like that you want to bring something back on the ship that you shouldn't have so we always stick to those cruise uh, ship rules it makes it for an easy experience and uh, we have a great time doing it so thanks for joining us thanks to all our fellow travelers loyal subscribers if you're new to the channel consider subscribing we will have several ports uh, tours on this trip that will cover everything we'll cover the cover the ship in a tour we'll show you the food chopping on board the ship and all that good stuff check out our other videos soon and we'll see you all soon on the next tour bye everybody